The general overseer of Gospel Pillar Church, Prophet Isaiah Wetz, who recently spoke during the 2022 Hallelujah Prayer Series, War and Gays Fear, shared a new prophecy, revelations he claims to have received from God concerning the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. According to the prophet, the revelation he saw Mr. Peter Obi as a driver. In his car were two passengers, a lady in the front with a bandage in his leg and a man sitting at the back. When he joined them, they were discussing about Nigeria election. He said Peter Obi was telling him that the Christian must come out to vote in months. However, Peter Obi dropped him and made a U-turn at a civic tower. Prophet Isaiah Wedge, while interpreting the revelation said for me to be a passenger in Peter Obi's car, his dream is in the hands of the Christian. The Lord said those who want Peter Obi should pray for him not to trust in the voice of men on the last day, thereby causing him to make a U-turn on what he started, because if he does, he may not achieve his presidential ambition. The prophet also said that the internal problem in southeast of Nigeria is not ordinary. Holy prayer can resolve it amicably. Details in the video. So you pray for the name that is Peter Obi is now popular everywhere, but pray for him. If you trust in the voice of men, it will still not happen. Nothing will happen. Because I've designed his spirit. God brought him to me in the night. And I see so much, so much confidence in men rather than confidence in God. So when the Lord designed, when, when I designed him, I, I found myself stop a car at the bus stop. See, this is how these things work. Some of you don't understand. Let me be give you some of the process. I was standing at the bus stop and I stopped a car and he was the driver. And I entered the back at the driver's and the owner's seat. And there was another man at the back. And there was a lady in front with bandage on her leg. And we were driving on Lecky Road, coming from this tower, what they call the tower? Civic Tower. And then we were arguing about two things. He was telling me about the importance of voting. Ensure you vote. I said, yes. All Christians, everybody must vote. I said, but you must pray. And that was the argument we were having in the car. And then he stopped me under the bridge. Now coming from Civic Tower. Huh? Huh? That's what they call the road. He stopped me under the bridge and made a U-turn. Huh? Made a U-turn. And then, let me leave the remaining part. So, what is this? So, why will I be in a car and this man is driving and this lady in front with a leg that is bandaged, raised up like this, and there's a man at the back and I'm talking when we're all discussing and they dropped me there and then I find myself, opposite me was a theater and there was about to be a prayer for Nigeria going on there and then ahead of me was an invitation to speak somewhere let me leave that part pray for the man pray pray go ahead and pray in the visions of God such leaders all the big names came together and they all what you call it to, to pick someone endorsed somebody from the south South somewhere, you know. <laughs> Hold on. So they all came and they all endorsed this person. And I was watching this. And now, but there's a problem. Because God did not tell me that's his choice. The church leaders have, will choose this person. Understand the vision. I've been long in visions. I don't interpret it wrongly. All right? I saw church leaders pick a political person, presidential candidate from the south, south something. So that you not hold me to anywhere. You know what I'm saying? But I have an issue personally. When I came out of the vision, I have an issue personally. This is my issue. It is God who responded to the cry of Nigerians and of the present president to fight corruption when corruption was too much. And we all agreed and the Lord approved what we wanted. Eight years have gone. Yes, 
we don't even want to see or hear the name. Can you remember eight years ago? We were all agitating. Sure, when the election was won, we were celebrating. Because they said there is a record of fighting corruption with this person. Please, what happened now? Let's go one step further. So now, again, we have picked somebody that we think can do the job. Now, hold on. This is now, this is not prophecy. This is my opinion. I told you what prophecy is. I saw church leaders pick somebody from the southeast. All right? And now, but I have a problem. Listen. So, listen, there was a great mobilization in this country. You see it. Church leaders, top most people, publicly, this is the person we chose. Now, when the church has chosen, the head of the church will support the body, right? But I have a personal question. I have discovered over time, in a those state, somebody was chosen by God, and it was good, but he was the first human being in the whole planet to ban church from meeting without COVID-19 tests. The, the church, the first person, and this is the person that was chosen by God, and we all know the person has a good credibility, right? But he was the first person to say nobody can go to church without a vaccine. First person on earth from Edo State, not from America, on planet earth, first human being. Yet he was our good man. Yet he was the first to rise against the church. So the problem is the definition, man's definition of good ends up becoming a problem. Because eight years ago, we defined the anti-corruption man has come. And he became worse. Now again, we have chosen a good person. My thinking. My thinking. Sometimes, good people become the enemy of the church. Because they like to be good. And you cannot walk with God being good. You have to be righteous. That's right. There's a difference. Hold on. Hold on. So I see a problem. Not a prophecy now. I just see a problem. Because I checked the record of all the people that we have felt were good. Because we looked at, they were strict. They were this, they were that. And they came in and God approved it. And when they came in, what did we get? What did we get? What did we get? So, before we jump again now, let's pray very well. And not look at tribe or religion. Let us look for the heart that we agree to God, that we submit to God. Because some people are so good that they are gooder than God. Um, My thinking, my thinking, my thinking, my thinking. We did it eight years ago. And God approved it. So this time, it's good we hear from God. So what God showed me, I could have rushed to say God has said. No, I, I interpret exactly what I saw. Top church leaders will come together and endorse a person from the southeast. But that person will also have a problem. So let me take it a step further. Because it is the same people who will turn against him. The same people that are standing for you will still turn against you when the threat comes because they will shake them. They will shake all the foundation and prophesy to the person now. All the people that are standing with you, when they shake this one and shake this one and shake this one, will they stand with you? And even you, they will also shake you soon with things that will come from everywhere. Will you stand this test? Because you will be shaking. And some people who are standing now. Get ready for last minute defection. Last minute defection. Money will will have power. Last minute defection. This is why we fast and pray. Because people are talking PVC. I'm just laughing. Because let me tell you something. You are placing PVC in the hand of the person who is counting. Who is also contesting. The person who is counting is the one contesting. You think he will count for you? That's where you see 179, 200. That's, that's where you see those kind of counting. 
When God would pick a deliverer, he picked Cyrus, who was not a Jew. Isaiah 45. The ways of God are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Every time we thought we were correct, we ended up being wrong. Human reasoning is the reason we are still where we are. There's a way that seems right to a man. The end of that way is destruction. Let's be patient for the voice of God. Let's not calculate again with our head. This is how we run. We look at this. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. We get in trouble. We've started again now. This one. Ah, this one. Calm down. Your physical evidence may end up being false. Your physical calculation may end up being false. So get your PVC is important. Vote for whosoever you think the Lord is leading you is important. But continue to pray because it's going to be very, very, very tough. Get ready for surprises. Plenty of surprises. Before, during, and after. The only thing that can change the equation is that lightning I saw. That's the only thing that can change the equation. And when it does, you will know that this is God. In themselves. This is an internal problem. Pray for the party. I think it's called labor, right? Pray for the party. Pray for the easterners. When all these things will unfold, you remember I told you. But we have to pray. Prayer can change everything. But things may not flow the way people are thinking. But if there is prayer, if there is dependency on God, God has promised us what he will work. See, I work with a God that is not a talkative. He's a master. Do you understand? So, Jesus does not know the day he's coming again. Jesus said, I'm coming again, right? Does he know the date? Do you know the date? Even the Jesus, the son of God, does not know the date. He said, the day and the hour, knoweth no man, including the son of man. The father has kept that in his power. For you to understand how God is. The problem is we don't know God. Imagine God can keep a secret and not tell his son. The one he said, this is my beloved son that sits at his right hand, does not know the date. There are some things he keeps like that. When he keeps it, don't go and be talking what he has not talked. He has not told me this is what it will be. He has kept that as long as he wants to keep it. He's, do you understand how powerful? When you deal with God, oh God, you understand what I'm saying? He, 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 can, he doesn't say, hey, no, 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 no. He do, just imagine a being that has no fear, no contest, that is all powerful, that made all things. All things started from him. Nothing existed before him. Imagine how he thinks and how he operates. So people think God must do like this. Tell me what must happen. Who is God saying? If God is quiet, you be quiet. The Bible says that Ezekiel, he says, I have not, prophet, I have not spoken yet. The prophet have ran. They ran. Jeremiah, sorry. I have not spoken yet. They prophesied. So you say only what he has said. You keep quiet about what he has not said. I have not spoken. Look at that. Look at it. Read. Everybody read. So you don't prophesy when God has not spoken. You don't speak based on pressure. You don't speak newspaper, popular opinion. You don't speak what is going on online. You don't copy information to prophesy. You hear from God. That's what is called the integrity of a prophet. People tell me, prophesy, I say, I don't see anything. Please tell me what God is saying I did not hear. What do you want me to do? Should I keep myself? Should I forge prophecy for you? No. Only what I hear, I speak. As I hear, I speak. That's what Jesus said. As I hear, I speak. I only prophesy what I have heard. So so far, this is where we are. This is a very delicate journey. We must keep backing it up with what? Prayer. And dependency on God. Lest we fail again. The honor of God will not fail. When a true prophet of God speaks, it surely comes to pass. Deuteronomy 18.22 I was laying on my bed. I saw a race. And I saw people running. And I saw one person overtaking them. As I saw that person overtaking them, I saw written Soludo. I said, what is this? The Lord says, his will for Anambra is Soludo. But right now, if you go online, check everything. I went to check. Soludo is disqualified. If he will depend on God and pursue, he's the one to overtake. Charles Jukuma Soludo of APGA having satisfied the requirements of the law is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. I'm looking at the state election and this man 
is going to be fought from everywhere. They will fight him from the north, south, east, west. It's going to be tough for him because he has chosen to do the right thing. But God is telling me he will win again. Professor. Professor. God will end opacity of PDP. He said by declared the winner and return elected. The visions of God appeared to me some days ago. I saw somebody landed in Abuja airport and I saw family members around this person and I heard them celebrating. We have defeated the incubant. And I saw a word written over them, Ogu. I was looking at this announcement. I saw in some states, they were rerunning some states and redoing some elections. It's six states or seven states. But I saw two states being announced. And I saw something that will shock everybody because I saw these states being given to PDP. Adamawa, APC incumbent, lost to PDP. Vouchy, APC incumbent, lost to PDP. Now the Lord is speaking once again through his prophet about the future of Nigeria and what we must do to make this a reality. In the visions of God, the Lord took me to 2023. I saw lightning strike on the nation. I saw celebrations and celebrations. I saw Nigeria whites and I saw everyone celebrating. Finally, we have in the presidency a good person. And I got up from the vision. I was thanking the Lord. And the Lord said, not without a seven-day fast. Call the nation to a seven-day fast. Thank you very much for watching our video to the very end. If our host subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch our videos from Facebook, from YouTube. We really appreciate everyone that is supporting us. If it's a first time of coming across our videos, why not take a moment of your time to visit our platform and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is the only way you can support us by sharing and commenting and hearing your view about these specific videos. Until we meet again, stay tuned Plan B TV. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified. And I see the show your support. Now say God go bless you too. Dance on the bed. Plan B T Plan B T V T Plan B T V T Plan B T Plan B T V T Plan B T V T Plan B TV. Oh.